video is just going to show you some tips on how to apply our vinyl and our nail polish, nail strips. Uh, these nails are already trimmed, slightly sanded, and they have a nice alcohol cleaning on them. It's good to keep your nails nice and clean during this process so they stick really well. So we've already done the other hand and actually I had on the pinky because her nail was short, I had leftovers, so that is why this one is already complete. But during this video, I'm going to show you how to sand them off, how to use my favorite, which is your thumb, and also how to pair two together to make one. Um, as you can tell, her finger beds are a little bit wider, and so you will see some tricks on how to have the perfect manicure. So one thing is, is to do your thumbs last when you are applying for yourself. And you'll see that if this was her opposite hand, when I'm putting the vinyl on, I'm gonna go under it to, to peel it off. And so you don't wanna have nail polish necessarily on those until after they're cured. These polish strips, now not the vinyl, but the polish strips are actually 95% moist. Um, and that's why there is a curing time. So that's why we, Another tip would be to do these towards the end of the day, after you've showered, before you've put lotion on, and right before you go to bed, so when you wake up in the morning, they're adhered really well to your nail bed. So, this right here, you kind of just see here that you're gonna line it up, and kind of fold it over, and you say, yeah, that one matches really well. So one thing is, is if you have really short nails like myself, you can put them on and you can kind of see and you can see from this side and just cut it right there in half. That's how you're gonna get extra manicures out of your nail sets here. Now there's a plastic on the top, so you're gonna peel that away. And then we've already used the other side of this for her nails, her nails are longer. So if you do have longer nails, you're not gonna get as many manicures out of it just because of the fact that your nails have a longer nail base and you won't be able to save as much. So you're gonna line it up on the side of your nail. I like to push it down. Then you're gonna take it and stretch it over. And you're going to just kind of smooth it over so it's nice and smooth. It's all about getting the air bubbles out. Then Take your nail and as you're pushing down, this is one way to do it. You're gonna push it and take your thumb and put it under. Then you pull it up a little bit, pull it, push it under, pull it up a little bit, push it under, and bam. And you'll see that there's a little bit that you need to file, so we're just going to file off. And that nail is complete. I don't like that, so I'm just gonna fix that there. And perfect. All right, so the next one here we have. Now, for the example, if you had a short nail, again, you could have cut this, and before you would have peeled it off the backing, you could have saved this for another nail. So we're just going to line this up again. Now you'll notice here that when you line it up, see how it's not going to cover? So this is going to be an example of how to double layer a nail vinyl strip. Again, you're going to peel off the plastic. We know that her, this nail, so we're going to put it up against the cuticle. Now you're going to try to keep it off of your cuticle line. Again, you're gonna smooth it down. We know that it's not gonna go all the way to the side. So we're just gonna focus on the side that we have the nail exposed. Pulling and smoothing down as we go. Again, I like to use my nail. And we're gonna use your thumb on that and push it under. Pull it up slightly, pull it so that way it goes under. It's all about sealing the end of your nail here. Now, on this, we're just gonna take this and we're going to pull 
that back away so it's nice and rounded. We're going to take her other side of the nail and we're just going to line it up on the exposed. Pressure down and smooth. Now actually on my thumb I did my pedicure first because I still had some left and you can't even tell but I actually did this on my thumb as well so you're just going to take that rubbing it down now this is already this would have been for example like if you would have cut it in half how you have a shorter so you can't really use that so that's where this comes in handy you're just going to kind of push it down with the file and then kind of sand but you're sanding in a light direction you're just trying to get that extra extra polish strip off then you can kind of just use your thumb now I hold the polish strip down while I pull up a little bit just in case because like I said before even though they don't feel wet there is a cure time technically on these so even though they're completely dry welcome to go do whatever you please just like any sticker, once it sits, it gets harder to take off. And there. So you've taken two and you made it into one. You can tell here that you can't even tell. So then we have her thumb. That's left. Now, if her other hand was done, she could do her this thumb first because she wouldn't need this thumb if her other hand was done. All right, now, on this one, this one covers well, so we're just going to take off the plastic again. You're going to put it, this one we're going to have to double layer again, so. And if you say, oh, I screwed up, you can just peel it up. It's not a one time and you're done. Now you could take, if you like to use this and you, let's say you don't have a thumbnail, you can take this just the same if it was your thumbnail. See how I have it over the edge there? And you just want to press it down with a little bit of pressure. And there you go. Again, you're going to pull with a slight pressure, trying to get it under your nail. And I'm just taking off the silver backing here. Okay, and then we're just going to take that side piece there. Now if you don't want to have so much, you can have some scissors or some cuticle cutters on hand. You could cut these like this. Peel it. And you could place it so if you don't want to have so much overlapping that's completely up to you now I'm going to put a little bit on the skin because this is going to be the next trick let's say you have one that's too big for example if you're doing your pedicure you're going to smooth it down just the same and you're going to really smooth because again we're overlapping on this one so and if you have a thumbnail, you can use it just the same when you're going to press on the sides. Again, it's all about getting off of the skin. Now we're going to finish just like what we were doing before. Because again, remember how I was saying, it does cure. Now with the coarser glitter, I find it that it cures faster than what I call more of like a glossy glitter. So I try to get the edge sealed. Then you can see here that you just use some pressure and file. And you're going to take the end of your polish
I'm gonna peel it away. Now you're probably thinking, well, this is a lot easier because she's doing it to someone else. But honestly, when you're doing it to yourself, it's just as easy. You just use your thumbnail or the file. I'm a fingernail picker, so I don't like having cuticles and stuff showing. And I'm sure that you pick at your hands as well. And there you go. So you have the perfect, and that's how you take it off the skin. It's how you use your file. And it's how you use your handy dandy thumb. If you guys have any questions, just let me know.